When cells interact, specific molecules, here shown in red and green, move towards the contact zone and the signal is generated in response, here shown in purple. Our visualization shows part of the processing of one of these signals and we have selected the RASMAP kinase signaling pathway as a paradigm. Schematically, on the surface, receptor tyrosine kinases, like the EGF receptor, are activated by interaction with a ligand. This induces dimerization. The EGF receptor autophosphorylates and generates binding sites for adapter proteins SHIC and GRAB2, which then recruit the guanine exchange factor SOS. This can bind inactive RAS and kick out GDP in exchange for GTP. This activates the RAS kinase activity, which amplifies the EGF receptor signal through activation of the MAP kinase pathway. Initially RAF, then MEC and finally ERK are activated by phosphorylation. RAS remains only briefly active until it engages a gap which activates the GTPS activity of RAS. Finally, ERK goes on to phosphorylate various effector proteins, including transcription factor AP1, which eventually alter gene expression in response to the EGF receptor signal. If we now return back to our molecular visualization, we see how the phosphorylated tyrosines in the EGF receptor tail are bound by SHIC and GRAB2. SOS joins this complex and membrane-anchored RAS is activated by guanine exchange. RAS remains active only for a brief period before it inactivates itself again. But several RAS may be activated by SOS before the adapter complex collapses and the EGF receptor may be internalized. The level of activated RAS is determined by the time it remains active and the frequency it is switched on by the signaling complex. RAS and the MAP kinase pathway control important cellular functions, including proliferation and differentiation. Therefore, the level of RAS is tightly controlled. Usually only brief bursts of RAS are permitted in healthy cells. Apparent activation of RAS in particular the sustained ectopic activation through a constitutive active receptor tyrosine kinase or mutated RAS would lead to excessive proliferation of cells and favor the appearance of severe diseases like cancer. 